my channel my name is Lucy in case you don't know me and I'm the owner and creator of Made by Lucy and the Online Sewing Academy and today I'm going to show you how to use your blind hem foot on your sewing machine this little gem you may have in our sewing kits that we sort of think I have no idea what this is or how to use it but it could completely revolutionize your sewing and your hemming so here I'm going to show you how to do it So you want to get your project that you need to put a hem on. Now this may be um, a smart pair of trousers, it may be um, the bottom of a jumper, it may be a pair of curtains that you need to take up, that you need to do what we call a blind hem. So a hem that you're not going to visibly see that much on the outside of your garment. So a pair of trousers, a pair of curtains is sort of prime example of when you might need to do this. And normally what I would do is I would hand stitch um, that hem, just picking up a small amount of fabric as I go around the inside of my um, project or garment. But you can do this on your sewing machine. Now you may have what we call a blind hem foot. There's a couple of different types that you might have. This one is an adjustable one. So here you can see you've got your sewing machine foot and then you've got this little guide that moves in and out, this little plastic guide. Or you may have a fixed one which looks something like this. And this one will have um, sort of a little guide in the middle of the foot here that sort of moves up and down. And that's your, your hem guide. So that those two potentially are the feet that you may have for your, your blind hem foot. So have a look in your um, sewing kit and see if you've got one of those. You can obviously buy them online if you haven't, um, but you may have one and just never knew what it was, to be fair, in your sewing kit. And then you need to get your garment of what you want to hem. Today, just to give you an example, I've just got a scrap of fabric here of some denim. Um, but what I've recently done on to use my blind hem foot is I've taken up a pair of trousers. These are my son's school trousers. Um, he's at senior school now and they always come unhemmed I guess because as children get older boys in particular you know they're all sorts of heights and sizes so they come unhemmed so you have to hem them yourself and I've always in the past hand stitched the reverse just picking up a small stitch but this pair I've done the blind hem so you can see there it's got a normal hem inside of the trouser and then on the front it just picks up a little stitch every sort of well you can adjust the width of that that stitch picking it up and as long as you use the same color thread as your garment you will barely see those stitches on there so that's what I've done Revoli revolutionized the hemming of the school trousers it took me about five minutes to do whereas before my fingers would be hurting trying to get through I'd always get to the end and it'd be a bit of a wobble and it wouldn't be straight anymore so why have I never done this before you may be asking yourself the same thing so let me show you today how you would do this. It does take a bit of practice and it does, there's a little technique to it as well. You can't just pop it under and it does it. So first of all, you wanna get the bottom of whatever you're hemming and you want to do a double hem. You want to iron this in, a double hem into your garment. So a double hem means you, you fold up your hem once and then again, enclosing the raw edge, getting rid of that raw edge so you can't see it. So on the front of your garment, all you'll see is a nice um, finished edge at the bottom. You wanna give that a good press as well. You wanna press that so that hem is nice and flat and it's not gonna move around as you're sewing. There we go. So I've given mine a good press now, so that holds it nice and flat for me. So what I want to do is I want to pick up the top of my hem with my sewing machine foot, but I obviously don't want to see that big long row of stitching on the front of my, um, you know, whatever I'm making, my garment. Now there's a particular stitch on your sewing machine that you need to use for this, the blind hem stitch. And what that looks like is a row of straight stitches and then a little heel, a row of straight stitches, a little heel, almost like a heartbeat. And that's the stitch you want to choose on your sewing machine. If you're unsure, refer to your manual and that will show you the type of stitch and what it looks like. You also need, of course, your blind hem foot to go in your sewing machine before you begin, can begin. Once you've done your double hem on your fabric, then what you want to do is fold that double hem back the other way on itself. So this, if you're doing a trouser leg, you may then be folding this hem into the trouser leg and you want to then allow a little bit of that hem poking over the top. So I'm just gonna show you that again. I've done my double hem. I'm gonna fold that double hem back on itself, 
allowing part of that double hem to just poke across the top of the inside of my fabric. So there's my double hem on the other side. And then on the reverse, I can just see the top of that double hem poking up the top of my fabric. And then you wanna put some pins in there just to hold that in place. You don't really want to iron this hem down because we don't want this to be a fixed, um, see, you know, a fixed fold. We don't want that to be ironed in place. Um, but we do want this piece of fabric to stay sort of flat out the way. So just pop some pins along. And the gap that I've left poking out the top here is about a quarter of an inch, roughly. Um, that's the top of my fold of my hem, my double hem. So this bit here is now the bottom of my trousers or curtains. This is the top of my hem, which I folded in half. Okay. And then this is gonna go into my sewing machine. So we're gonna sew from this reverse part here. So we're sewing almost like inside of our double hem as such. So on your double hem foot, your sewing machine foot, you've got this little gu guide here. So it's like a little metal um, sort of plate at the front of the foot in the middle. And what you want to do is you want to slide your hem underneath your foot so that guide sits along this inner fold here. So it doesn't sit right at the top of your, your hem. It sits on this inner fold where we folded our hem back on itself. So you want to slide it in so that sits on that fold. And you want to make sure that your needle, I just change my setting. Your needle, when it goes down to do the first row, so when it's sat on the right hand side, is going to be sewing on the top here, this little bit peeking through, which is the top of our, our double hem. So it needs to do the straight stitch along there so we're not gonna see it. And then it jumps across and picks up your fabric. So you can also adjust the height of the um, sort of the mountain or the heartbeat bit that you want it to pick up. So I'm going to move mine down to a two, so it only picks up just a little bit. The bigger that um, the height of that stitch, so the zigzag part of it, the bigger you're going to see, the more thread you're going to see on the front of your fabric. And I'm also going to extend my stitch length because, you know, I just want it to hold the hem up. I don't need it to be extra, extra strong. And I want the, um, the sort of the bits that it picks up to be as far apart as I can get them. So on my machine, I've gone to my highest stitch width. And for my zigzag part, I've lowered it down so it's much smaller. And then you just start going. So as you sew, what you want to do is make sure this guide is still sat right on the edge of that fold because as my needle jumps across to do the zigzag, it needs to just pick up that folded piece of fabric. So that guide is going to keep it in line to do that. stitch when you start and finish again so on the reverse of my fabric now I've got you can see the straight stitch going along and then the, the zigzag just comes down to pick up that fold here so now what you want to do is you want to pull that seam or that hem back open again so you want to flatten out that fabric again like so and then on the reverse of your fabric, this is what you should then see. So you should just see these little dots along your fabric. And so if I had the denim stitch here, you're going to hardly see, particularly these little spots have worked just right. And to get this, the dots this small and not too big, what you want to do is make sure you're adjusting that zigzag size and you're just picking your fabric up on that fold and you're not going too far in. So the key to do with that really is to make sure that guide is sat along that that fold here and your zigzag stitch is just touching the fold of your fabric here so it takes a bit of practice but when you get that um, skill perfected how amazing is that going to revolutionize your hem um, stitching so that would now be the bottom of my hem just imagine this being the same color as my fabric you're going to barely see that at all so that's how to use your blind hem foot
So I hope that tutorial and that little demonstration is gonna help you delve into your sewing kit, into your sewing machine tools, having a look at what sewing machine you feet you've got that you've never used before and seeing if it can help you improve your sewing, make your sewing life much easier and maybe it's gonna give you some very rather funky techniques that you can show off and use on your next sewing project. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe so you can see when my next video is coming up and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing, bye.